So broken heart syndrome, it is a real thing and it's risen dramatically during the pandemic. I spoke with preventative cardiologist Dr. James O'Keefe from St. Luke's Mid-America Heart Institute. Here's what you can do to lower your risk. So Dr. O'Keefe, let's talk about what is broken heart syndrome and what are some of the symptoms? Yeah, broken heart syndrome is a is a strange phenomenon that we've been increasingly aware of in recent decades. It really was only described about 20 years ago. And, and then um, during the pandemic, it has risen like 500%, about fivefold. And there are, there are like three, at least three different names for it. It's called broken heart syndrome or stress cardiomyopathy. Also something called Takatsubo because it was first described in Japan back in 1990, uh, in the 1990s. So um, yeah, it's, it's actually, speaks to the powerful connection between the brain and the heart. This is like a super highway of nerves connecting the brain with the heart. And uh, most of the time that's a good thing. Um, but through, you know, down through history, cultures have mistakenly thought that emotions start in the heart, not because they do, but because any, any uh, significant emotion registers loud and clear almost instantaneously with the heart. So what broken heart syndrome is, is when we get extremely frightened, scared, angry, sometimes it can even happen at joyous occasions, but an overwhelming emotion, usually fright, um, will, and sometimes after major surgery, what can happen is shocks the heart. So part of the heart stops working and it can be fatal. Usually we can get people through it. Once we know they have it, we support them with medications and, and fluid and watch the rhythm to make sure that they're stable. But it's perhaps the most dramatic psychosomatic uh, illness, if you will. You just spoke to some of those stresses that can cause broken heart syndrome, but why has there been such a spike during the pandemic? I think all of us who have been living through this, you know, stressful time, can sort of relate to why something called stress cardiomyopathy might be on a rise. I had one patient uh, who came in, this was early in the pandemic, about 10 or 11 months ago, and she was watching these frightening images out of New York City of these people, you know, the overwhelmed uh, um, ICUs and whatnot. And as she was watching the news, she started getting chest pain. Uh, and she showed up, looked like she was having a heart attack. And we did the workup, which includes a coronary angiogram because it's it's almost impossible to tell the difference clinically and on an electrocardiogram between broken heart syndrome and an acute heart attack. So we do the heart attack, and her coronary arteries are nice and wide open, clean, and uh, and then and then we realize no, this was this was stress cardiomyopathy. So, in fact, this 500 percent increase in stress cardiomyopathy during the last year has happened in people who haven't had the virus. I mean, the virus can hurt your heart and can adversely affect your heart and make it weak. But this is in people who haven't had the virus, who have just been frightened by living under this, you know, alien and uh, foreboding um, time we live in. And I think that that's something so many of us can relate to because we feel bombarded by some of these images. So what can people do to decrease their stress and in turn prevent having broken heart syndrome? Yeah, this is good old fashioned advice, you know, our grandmothers might have given us, you know, we need to, we need to make sure we have developed healthy coping mechanisms, it's not, like, not like drugs or alcohol or, you know, things like that, but, but, but exercise, outdoor exercise, getting fresh air, connecting with the, the loved ones around us, you know, sharing your your uh, anxieties. Um, I find yoga to be really helpful. We have we have dogs, you know, two dogs and two cats. And, uh, you know, during the pandemic, it's a wonderful time to be hugging your dogs. You're not going to get the coronavirus from the dogs or cats. Yeah, the animals and the yoga. All right, guys, St. Luke's Mid-America Heart Institute offers comprehensive heart and vascular care. Now you can make an appointment for a virtual visit. For more information, go to stlukeskc.org slash heart.